Zion United Church of Christ has nearly a 100-year-old or 100-year history right here in downtown St. Joseph. But like many, the congregation is fighting to adapt and to keep up with declining attendance. Our Alex Simone has more. Church services sometimes include attendance of only 15 members. So leaders have had to get creative to offset expenses and keep the doors open. Church member Bill Luce says one method was deciding to rent out the parsonage as a church rental, a unique space that regularly gets used over the weekends. People have a lot of comments, and also how neat that, that place is over there because it's very, it's been, I mean, it's, it was built back in the 20s and, and there, we still have that atmosphere when you walk in. The group also has had to get creative regarding pastoral duties. Tammy Linningham of Kansas City was tabbed for the role after Zion's previous pastor left, but adjustments had to be made since she has another congregation as well. Sometimes it's not the people that are in the pews, you minister to people that are not there because you have the internet, you have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have all these ways of communicating with them. So, um, no, I, you know, I think it's a great opportunity. They decided on a semi-weekly schedule where Linningham has been visiting for in-person services every other week and using a social media live stream on off weeks. Other efforts to maximize resources included renting out its gymnasium and commercial kitchen. Luce says it fits a dual purpose, helping provide additional money while using what's available to serve the community. We do think you know, that, that God's not finished with us yet that he wants us to continue. And um, so we just have to keep working and praying with him that he will help show us the way to, to find a way so we can continue. There will be a post-service reception to help Linningham further introduce herself to the community from noon to 2 p.m. February 26th at the church at North 9th and Farron Streets. For News Press Now, I'm Alex Simone.